let's talk about the RFIDs. RFIDs is one of the advanced equipment or technologies used in the supply chain and warehousing. You know, by using the RFIDs, you are making your system completely automated. Whenever you receive this talk, the RFID readers get the information from the RFID devices and send the same information to the database so you need, don't need a human interaction. And the other thing is this is, is the placement of the stock and the smart sorting. You know, for example, you have like 20 boxes and each have this RFID tag and the tag contains information like you have like model A, B, C, D of, of the shoes or something else. So it is whenever the requirement come and you need to sort on the stock so the computer tell uh, uh, with the help of the RFI readers it, it automatically scores the thing so things became very automated and everything is is in the real basis but there, there are other drawbacks of it like for example this it's, it's a very expensive system Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Now uh, we formally discuss the definition of RFID. As per the Apex, a radio frequency identification device, a system using electronic tags, store data about items. Look at the snap below. You can see that there is um, RFI readers in RFID that this is this RFID has the information like for example the type of this talk and date of manufacturing and the price of the tag and everything is in that so the readers read it and give information to the computer database so how this rfid work so you you know let's go for the next uh, slide let's go for some key details about the rfid the electronic tag is a teeny microchip with an antenna whose signal is automatically picked by a reader or interrogator. A reader can be combined with a cellular GPS device for in transit updates. The information on the tag is more robust with RFIDs than with other form of AIDS, advanced identification and data capture. So you need to understand that RFIDs uh, has the most you know it's it's very powerful regarding the information like for example they are like 500 units moving in, in five minutes so uh, it can quickly uh, get the data from uh, those um, uh, the RFID readers can they extract the data so it's very robust in that case so uh, Another important thing in the RFIDs is the significant feature of validity is that the tags are available in read and write configuration that allows tags and readers to communicate back and forth information the tag in other words can be altered from distance unlike the barcodes. Also you need to note that these uh, uh, sort of information once you have used it or you want to change the information on the tag you can change it from a distance and you through the devices you can change the like to it into another product or something maybe you can alter this one so important thing to note is that they there there is a standard protocol that is uh, like ecp generation 2 you know this is an interface protocol specify how to information is communicated between the tags and reader ECP generation 2 is uh, recognized by international organization fast standardizations ISO 18000-6 class of standards so this is for the international harmony and synchronization so everybody do the same thing a full implementation may be hard this also justified to know that because it's very expensive system so you need to understand where you you have you can use this RFID RFID values come in a process discipline cannot be advanced with other human technologies and human interaction like for example this case study where the, there's a benefit for the RFIDs like there were 
refrigerated warehouses and whenever the vehicle come the, the refrigerated gates uh, gates of those of the refrigerated became open and when it goes it, it, it closed so it about 30 25 percent saving it comes with let's go for there are for three kinds of uh, RFID tags you know first one is the active tag it's a radio frequency identification tag that's brought cost information and contains its own source power so it has its own source power it's expensive such tags can transit data to the reader along ranges and are most expensive type of tags they are often often used to tag container or pallets so for the expensive items you may use this one so uh, second is the passive tag which is which doesn't send out data or is not self-powered the radio frequency energy from reader temporarily power the tag passive tags can transmit data at the short range and are cheap uh, if purchased in bulk readers uh, must typically be installed at the gateway entry and exit points on the equipment such as forklifter rp handles a semi-passive tag an RFID tag that send, send out data is self-powered and widens its range by hardening uh, power from the reader so this is how it is hope you like